Hey everybody, me and Daniel have got ourselves a heater unit. That runs on diesel fuel. Yep, that runs on diesel. This is kind of a cool thing here. Um, for years they sold these things for four or five hundred dollars that go in like a semi truck or a yacht. And they run on diesel fuel, but they've gotten drastically cheaper. And this one here, I'll put you an exact link down below the video where we got this one. And we're going to unbox it right now to see all that comes with it. So it's got a few little bumps on it. We're going to be checking out all the parts. Now this one comes with a very large fuel tank. And we wanted this because it's 15 liter. Not a whole lot of them have this size of a fuel tank. And it does have the wall mounts to where you can do a nice wall mount. And in our case, we're going to make it to where this is accessible with a little door from outside of our Holiday Rambler cargo trailer. So right now he's going to go ahead and pull all the parts out if he can get them out of there. And y'all be sure when y'all get these, because they do travel from China, check them for any possibility of leaks or cracks or other damage. That's in I the like process of shipping. When they put this and that. Now they did a very good job here. And you can see that's a continuous foam encapsulation of this. That little hole that they had over there on the box don't really matter. Now, here's all the operating parts for it. And we'll get the heating unit out. Go ahead and lift that heating unit out of there. This is the this is the fuel pump. 12 volt. It's pretty light. And this is the unit here. Five thousand watts. So five thousand watts. That's a, that's a roughly around sixteen thousand or eighteen thousand BTUs, I think, or roughly around fourteen to eighteen thousand BTUs. And forty watts of power. So it uses forty watts of power, so that's about three amps. You're just right at three amps of electricity just in 12 volt that it takes okay let's go ahead and get the rest of this unboxed this is going to go into that holiday rambler that we're converting into a cargo trailer slash mobile work trailer 27 footer y'all can look back on my videos and see what that one looks like comes with a pretty good sized box of parts here. This looks like duct work. So it has the duct work with it. Has the adapters that go on the end of the duct work. I believe it has a T, yep, it has a T. It's directional. Well, that's good because I've seen a lot of these don't have a directional T. And this is pretty stout. This is really rigid, so not flexible at all. And then it has the little muffler because these do have a firing cycle. They, they literally fire like a cylinder, but they're just the injector doing that. Uh, and the injector is the way that it's supposed to atomize. It does have a little bit of sound of it running like an engine, but very light. And this here is the air intake filter, I believe. Yes, air intake filter right there. Here is all the wiring and controls. This one is the digital model. Uh, it'll show the whole thing and I'm going to show you here. Look at this. This is the page of the seller where we got it from. I'm going to pause for that. Okay, and that is where this one came from and that's what you get. You're going to get the real genuine digital, not that little dial. There's a lot of those sellers. They're showing this in their picture. And this took me a while to find the guy that shows this in the picture and you get this controller in the picture. So y'all be careful when y'all buy these. A lot of them will have the controller in them that is the, uh, the just a dial. And those will cause these things to carbon up real bad. All right, so we have a 25 micron filter, all the straps and hardware, everything you can imagine. I mean, this, this is better than, I did one of these for somebody about a year ago. This has got like twice as many parts as coming with it than that one I installed in a, in a uh, horse trailer for a guy. So there's the other one and they are aluminized. This is, this is not light. Uh, the, the other stuff, but it's aluminum. This ain't plastic. This is aluminum. 
So there's the other duct work there. There's your fuel line here. And your fuel line is, it's, it's PA6 fuel line. This is, this is good quality fuel line. Um, in here is your intake. In here also is your exhaust. So we'll have to straighten that out to pull them out of there. That's how they ship it. And gauge wise, I'd say this is about 29 gauge. Um, probably point, almost 0.5 millimeter. So that's pretty strong. That's pretty good stainless steel too. And here is your mounting plate that'll go underneath your heating unit. So I'll go ahead and move this one out of the way here. So your heating unit, and, and believe it or not, on that 15 liter tank, this thing can run for days. Um, 15 liters is, I think, roughly about four and a half gallons. So it'll run for days. Now, the way that this is set up, it has your fuel line goes here, and the plate will mount like that over your fuel line, and then you put your fuel line on, and this allows you to mount this in a location of choice. Now for us, we're going to be putting pieces of box metal, making a little frame, and then running these down and out the side where the old heater ports were in this trailer. Um, the controls, it's the reason if you see my video on that, I'm in the middle of wiring it, it's because this is what I'm doing. We're getting ready for this thing to go in. Um, they're known as a parking fuel air heater. There's numerous brands. They show you here with a, a big truck. Um, impressive but this is an unboxed video showing you what we got and I don't know I might be the first person to show you this big 15 liter um, tank that you get here okay you had to find something right quick but there you go you see the tank in perspective that is a 16 ounce mason jar and there's the tank so I'm giving you an idea on size all right guys we're gonna get this I've got it all boxed back up we're gonna get this installed in that Rambler that is becoming a cargo trailer. And you're gonna see how it works and how nice and clean and quiet it is. And believe it or not, for 150 bucks, I couldn't beat that deal. You can't even touch an RV heater for that price and all that propane you gotta carry. So this thing here, this big tank, it will probably last uh, with as much insulation as I have on that trailer. This thing could literally run that literally ounces an hour of use you know, so it, it doesn't have to run all the time. That's the cool thing about the automatic controls for these heaters is that that's what they'll do. They, they're thermostatically controlled. So that's kind of a cool setup. Parking fuel air heater. Look for it in that trailer. We're gonna be putting this in real soon.